dynamic in Bone Gang. I know it looks like I'm telling a spooky story the way this light is, but I got to film this video in the Jeep on the way to the fishing hole this morning because uh, there's a disturbance in my mind. But that's not the one we're worried about right now. It's the one that's in the Gulf. Uh, lightning has been popping off as I was coming out my porch this morning, but the storms are still offshore. So, should be hitting us around, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 o'clock. Some pop-up storms, not the actual disturbance, but the little, uh, I guess, feeder bands or... I don't know. It's not that big a deal. I just don't want to get hit by lightning. So, the goal today is, uh, if you've seen the video where I was fishing the sleeper gill and the headhunter by 10,000 fish and lost the tails on it, gave me the idea... I'm gonna go ahead and keep those baits and uh, we're gonna do a little Frankenstein into them. I'm gonna go ahead and take some, uh, maybe some swim tails off some other baits, cut them off, super glue them, and uh, see if we can't get a little bit more life out of those things because I certainly paid a lot for that sleeper gill because I had to get it imported from Canada because there was none in stock when I was uh, trying to do the video. So there's all that. Not to mention I had a really cool topwater frog that I uh, lost the feet on when we was out in Texas. So definitely want to give that one a throw too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this camera down, get the kayak all ready to go at the fishing hole, get on in there and get the fishing. So you ever notice it's only when you're in a time crunch that things tend to go wrong? Well, I'm getting everything together in my little hat clip that the GoPro goes on. Kind of just pops out my hand right into the water. So uh, heading on back to the Jeep, gonna have to get the chest mount. Thought it was the GoPro at first. You can imagine my relief when I realized it wasn't. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. Didn't see that guy the first two times we passed. Hey, buddy. Let me go ahead and put my go ahead and put my life jacket on now, because usually when something goes wrong that early in the beginning, usually ain't the last thing. It's a beautiful morning. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clip my keys to my belt, which I don't always do, but I just got the feeling, you know, got that feeling, and it ain't a good one. This is the strangest super glue I've ever used. Oh, 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 it's a little slick. Come on, baby. Come on, baby, stick. Come on, stick. Why aren't you sticking? This is, this is stupid glue. Now, this just isn't sticking at all. What is the deal? Oh, there we go. Got some stickage. Got a little stickage. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little weld on there. That way it can be drying too while we're fishing the frog. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Almost looks like I know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think if we had like regular super glue that was thin, this wouldn't be an issue. And now for my next trick, we have the sleeper gill. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, there we go. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with the big bites. Oh yeah, that's the ticket. Yeah, that's the stuff right there. Let's do that. Where's my scissors? Did I lose the scissors? I lost the scissors. Where are you, scissors? Oh, nope, there they are. Got them. It's cool. It's cool we got them. All right, so I had the GoPros rolling on this uh, looper thing where it only films five minutes at a time and kind of got distracted with doing all of this. I don't know how much of y'all that y'all seen in the beginning, but I, I'll show you the frog in case it rode over that. Just a little bit. Like I said, you know, when things go wrong, things continuously go wrong. I don't like this super glue. This super glue is stupid. I, I just kind of have this strange feeling. It's more like a certainty that uh, those tails are going to get ripped off in no time. <laughs> but we're out here, so we might as well uh, continue on. All right, we got the Blitz Frog tied on. This thing actually looks really good. The flake in it kind of matches. Almost looks like it's supposed to be that way. Let's see if she works the same. Eh, pretty similar. Not quite as good, but it works. Oh. Did I have something on there? Oh, crap. I'm not even paying attention. I'm maybe swatting these flies. And uh, he took the leg off. And not even where we glued it. He actually <laughs> got it off. <laughs> Couldn't even talk there for a second. I got so excited. Dang it. That was uh, probably a garfish. I'm going to have to go ahead and... Wow. Where we super glued it is not coming off. That's uh, it's encouraging. Wow. Well, I guess that super glue is doing its job. Let's go ahead and reapply uh, that. And then while that dries, we'll go ahead and fish uh, the next beat. What's it doing? All right, now we're going to switch over to the sleeper gill. I forgot to tell you guys this morning, I uh, stepped on a piece of wood. And uh, normally that wouldn't be a big deal, but this one just happened to have a big rusty nail sticking out the bottom of it. Went into the bottom of my foot. Stuck right into the heel. Right through my crock. It was terrific. Hope I don't get tetanus. But uh, yeah, that's, that's how my morning's going. Lost another leg. Not a bite. I think it was when I got hung up on these poles right here. 
Probably ripped it off my daggum, so. There we go, finally. Whew, starting to think we wasn't gonna get nothing. The, day, the way this day has been going, but we got this little guy. Got him on the uh, repaired sleeper gill. Oh, 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 all right. I was gonna do that anyway. Trying to make it a little bit more graceful than that, but you know, you have a great day. Probably gonna regret this because I'm pretty sure that's just garfish chasing the shad. I'm gonna throw a little top water over there and see what happens with the frog. Yep, he just took a swipe at it. That's definitely a garfish. All right, well, I'm tired of repairing these legs. As you can see, I had to repair another one. So we took the uh, Big Bites swim bait and threw it on there too. So I got some two different color legs. I don't know if that'll make a difference. That place sounds good. Some good bubbling, huh? That was a fish. Seen the swirls after it hit it. Oh crap, I got a fish on. <laughs> Thought I was in grass. Unbelievable. Jeez, um. <laughs> I'm just sitting there watching my line move like an idiot. <laughs> what a day, what a day, what a day, what a day. Ah, oh. we had a hit, a swing and a miss. And of course, I drift right in front of the way, so I can't get him again. Oh no, what was that? Yeah, finally. Ooh, that feels like a good one. Oh, that's got to be a redfish. Yep. <laughs> that ain't no bass pulling like that. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. You got it. You got it. I can flip him. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. If I get him in the boat. Come on, get him in the boat. Come on, is it? Jeez. Oh. <sighs> what a couillon. Hey, right, they're bottling. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Come on. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, 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 hey. Whew. All right, there you go. Little bitty guy. Frisky little guy. Jeez. Now I got a little mess on my hands because I was, uh, hey, uh, nope, yep, nope. I was actually gluing the two swim baits together that we took the tails off of for the frog. And I kind of made them like this little wacky rig situation right here. And I was waiting for it to dry pretty good while I was throwing that thing. End up catching us a redfish. So I'm gonna let it draw a little bit more. Now that I know I'm still catching fish on that uh, other bait, we're gonna keep on using it. Anybody else? No, not yet. There's a log right here. I mean, this, this little strip right here is beautiful. They got overhangs, they got brush piles, they got laydowns, they got logs that I'm kind of stuck on right now. And I'm surprised I don't pick up more fish right here. I don't know, just seems perfect to me. Well, maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. That's always a, a possibility. Oh, oh, wait. <laughs> Look at this. This is a bass. Oh, it was a bass. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to learn how to fish. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, is he on there still? Dang it. I had a bite and I wasn't paying attention. I really had no confidence in anything biting this and something just hit it and I completely missed it. Then of course you see me fumbling all over the place. Couldn't get the line back up in time. Oh, maybe I'll hit it again. Dang it. Well, the rain has come and gone, and so is our day of fishing. Not a whole lot was biting, and a couple of them that did, I didn't do a very good job at catching. But that's pretty much going to wrap this one up, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click on this video. You'll get to see how the swim baits lost their tails, and if you're curious to see how the frog lost its legs, you can click on that video right there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. You guys are awesome, and uh, I love you.